Well, hello, lovely humans, and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a continuation of a series we've already been working on on this channel, and that is walking you through the perfect planning timeline that you can download right here. If you've missed the other two previous videos, you gotta watch them first. Consider it homework. I know, Professor Jamie's coming in a little hard on you, but you need to make sure that you're doing those steps before you come to this video, okay? Okay, I'll link them down below. Also, I will be announcing our $1,000 cash prize winner in this video. Do I do it now, or do I make the people wait? All right, let's just do it right now. All right, okay. So for those of you who missed it, because we have hit 100,000 subscribers here on this channel, I decided I wanted to do something to give back to you guys. And we have three winners, two runner-ups and one grand prize winner. And just as a reminder, the runner-ups and the grand prize winner are all receiving a variety of items from small businesses that reached out that wanted to participate and are absolutely wonderful. They will also be getting lifetime engagement access to the master plan, which is I, in my opinion, is like the best prize of all time because it takes all of the guesswork out of Wedding Planet. But only one grand prize winner will indeed win $1,000 US cash. If I want a drum, oh, you can see my microphone. You're not supposed to know that exists. <laughs> uh, I want a drum roll, but I'm not going to. Our runner ups are Noelle Bartness and Danica Chavez. So Noelle Bartness and Danica Chavez, Check your email if you haven't seen it already. And you'll see all the details there. Congratulations, friends. I'm so excited for you. And now for the grand prize winner, it's Ariana Rodriguez. So wherever you are, Ariana, congratulations. Thank you so much to everybody who signed up for this big giveaway. Ariana, I hope that this uh, thousand bucks helps you out with planning your wedding or whatever you want to put it towards because we are just so honored that you are here. We are so honored that you would participate in a giveaway like this and uh, we hope that this money in turn blesses you and your event and makes things just a little bit easier. So now that we got that exciting little tidbit out of the way, let's go ahead and jump on into our planning timeline. As a reminder, you will need to download this timeline in order to follow along. If you've seen the other few videos, then you already have it. If you haven't seen them, you should probably skip back anyways and go watch those. But if you can't seem to find it at the moment, I will link it down below as well. So you don't have to skip back to earlier in the video when that was there. Bear in mind, it may take about five minutes to get to your inbox. And if you don't see it, check your spam folder. So in this week's video, we're going over four months down to two months out. Y'all, this is crunch time. This is when people start to feel the panic of, oh my gosh, what am I forgetting? What am I not doing correctly? Not the four month time period, but really the two month time period. And if you're looking at this timeline, you'll see that there isn't really a lot happening in the four month period. It's like, the calm before the storm, you know what I mean? Where you're just like, oh yeah, I've got most of it planned, we've got most of it figured out, it's gonna be great, and then boom, all those final details come and smack you in the face, and you're like, I, <laughs> this is where people eat their hair. This is where people start to panic. Again, we have details, research, and book as our columns going across the way. We're gonna start with four months out, again, referring to my timeline here. You want to finalize your drink selections and or signature drinks if applicable. If you're not doing this, skip the step. Doesn't matter. Your wedding will not be ruined if you don't have it. Moving on. Finalize your linen selection and your chair colors if you've not done so already. Notice that these are really easy things and both of those could probably be done in about five minutes on the phone with either one of these vendors. This is also when you're gonna wanna finalize any like floral design ideas. Your florist should know about all the arrangements that you want at this point, generally what the style is supposed to be and really kind of button that down. If you are doing premarital counseling of any type, now would be a good time to start it because like I said, the last few months get to be a a little bit chaotic. You don't have to do it, but if you choose to, you're going to want to give yourself enough time to still appear sane mm -hmm, in front of the person that's doing the, the, the premarital counseling with you, as opposed to two weeks out from your wedding when anything is going to make you kind of want to cry. Have that early so they don't think that you're crazy, okay? They'll have a way better read on your relationship not 14 days away from your actual wedding day. And you're also going to want to start organizing your general room or event layout and your seating chart. I'm gonna stop on this one for a second. I think you need to start planning out your seating chart if you are doing one. Obviously, if you're doing unassigned seating, have fun with that. I like assigned seating. Y'all know that. I talk about it constantly here on this channel. So if you are gonna do that, start working on it early. Group tables together. Um, with people that come from the same stage of your life. So college friends could probably go all at the same table, or your old church group could probably go all at the same table, or your soccer team can go all at the same table. See where I'm kind of going with this? You may not be able to confirm exactly who is coming, but if you can start doing that grouping and putting people together, it will make it so much easier when it comes down to the actual seating chart itself. You're just really removing, kind of adding people and scooting a couple things around, but you've done the general framework. If you are trying to figure out your event layout, I highly recommend checking out this video that I did about allseated.com. 
my favorite resource, completely free to you guys if you want to go check that out. Um, it actually does everything. It actually has like chairs and tables to scale so you can really set up your event layout. There's a lot of hand motions in today's video. I don't know what's going on. But here we are. Now moving on over to the research section, this is when you would research transportation. Now, my guess is a majority of you are not hiring a fancy car to drive you from point A to point B. But even if you're not doing that, have a plan. Are you calling an Uber? Who's calling the Uber? Who's calling it with enough time to make sure that the Uber is there so you're not late to your own wedding? Those kinds of details. Even if you're not actually booking a transportation company, start talking about your transportation plan. And then like with all the other videos, what we researched in the last category, we are now booking. I have a disclaimer about this one because this is where I have hair and makeup. I say, like in this timeline, I say you should book it at the very latest four months out from your wedding. Very latest. Obviously, if hair and makeup is super important to you, you're going to book it earlier, right? Like you're not going to wait until four months out because you want to find the perfect artist for you. But for those who want to check it off a list, it may not be their highest priority. This is the last opportunity that I say this is when you can hire somebody. Can you hire someone two days out? Sure. Should you? Probably not. That's why this is here. You should also have finalized your honeymoon plans. Um, and oh, I, I booked dessert was first. <laughs> Again, my cousin is a baker. She designs wedding tables. Like that's what she does for a living. Is she booked out further than four months in advance? Heck yeah, because she does high quality and high in demand treats. Again, this is the very latest time that you should be booking. All right, moving on down to the two month section, okay? This is where the details get like pff, fat stack of details, okay? Send out your invitations. This usually happens about six to eight weeks in advance if you have sent out save the dates. Generally speaking, if you send out your invitations between six and 12 weeks, that's what we're looking for, okay? You don't wanna send them four weeks in advance. You don't wanna send them 14 weeks in advance. There is this window of time where it will still remain relevant in people's minds and they will remember to RSVP. If you don't do a save the date, send it at 12 weeks. If you do happen to send a save the date, you can send it closer to your event, but no closer than six weeks out. If you have a list of requests for photo and video, now's the time to compile those. They will probably ask you those questions. Like they're masters at their own craft and they totally get what they're doing. If there's anything that beforehand you're like, here are all the things that I really want. A lot of times in uh, the Q&A Monday that we do or Unpopular Wedding Opinion Thursdays, like people, I get a lot of responses of, uh, I d wish I hadn't done so many Vogue poses or I wish I'd done more candid poses. So really sit with that, look through some albums that your photographer has done before and try to figure out what you like and what you don't like. I mean, obviously you pick them for a reason, but what do you want your photos to look like? That's what we're gonna put together for your photographer and your videographer. Uh, this is when you wanna finalize your flavors with your dessert company and or have a tasting if you need to. Buy your wedding bands if you have not done so already. Again, this is the last marker for that. It's gonna get a little crazy for you moving forward. So we wanna make sure that your wedding bands are done and purchased, ready to go, because you're gonna have other things on your mind. You will also want to schedule your final dress fitting. The likelihood that something absolutely drastic is going to happen in the last eight weeks is pretty slim. So make sure that your tailor and or alteration specialist is ready to go for your final fitting. This is when you need to have all of the undergarments ready to go, okay? I get, I get asked this all the time, what are the best undergarments? I'm not quite sure. Uh, I heard Kim K's line is like insane. People really love it. Um, I've used Spanx before. I've used the Target knockoff brand. You gotta find what works for you and your body Everybody is different. Regardless of what you pick, you do need to have it ready for that final dress fitting so everything looks exactly the way that you want it to look. That also includes accessories. Make sure you have your necklace, your earrings, your hairpiece, your uh, shoes. You want to make sure you have your wedding shoes ready to go for your final dress fitting so the hem sits at the right length too. This is also around the time that you will have your wedding shower. This is typically hosted by someone other than yourself, maid of honor, perhaps a mom or a mother figure will host it for you. This is the time frame within which that happens. Next detail, confirm guest accommodations. If you are doing a hotel block, you're going to want to call up that hotel and be like, hey, we're still on, right? You didn't forget about me? This is, this is the time to do that. Especially because you, you're sending out your invitations right now, you want to make sure the hotel is prepared for all of these calls and or inquiries to actually have some bookings. Two months out, you're gonna wanna start any sort of beauty regimen, okay? You do not wanna try anything within the last two weeks. Nothing new within the last two weeks. If you are considering doing anything to your skin, to your body, start it two months out because you have no idea if you're gonna have a reaction to it or not. I know that's a little bit of a morbid, like, hey, be careful, but 
That's the last thing that we want. We don't want a skin flare up or irritation to happen because you simply haven't tried this product before or trying to cram it at the last minute and we won't have that long-term benefit of having done that for a while. So start drinking some more water. Check out that new skincare line that you've been dying to use. Go get yourself a facial, but start early. This is when you want to also research your marriage license and requirements. It is different for every county. Like the county that I grew up in where I got my marriage license, my marriage license was valid for 90 days. So I could get it up to three months out from my wedding day, right? But in other counties in California where I grew up, they were slightly different. So you'll need to research that. Usually in the United States, most likely you will have to set an appointment with the county clerk recorder's office and they will take it from there. I get asked a lot of questions about marriage licenses. I don't deal with legally binding documents other than my own, so I don't have much to tell you. You do need to check your county's regulations on that one. And the final details list. <sighs> when I tell you that this list, creating this list in the master plan, is one of the best things that you can do for your organization and for your own sanity, I am not kidding you. Uh, if I haven't linked to it already, I'm going to go ahead and link to it right up here. If you are not a member of the master plan, it's 29 bucks a month. Like this is, if you think this timeline's good, this is literally one of 10 modules for the entire thing. 29 bucks a month. Absolutely insane. That's where that final details list comes in. And if you notice, we're not researching vendors anymore. That ship has sailed. We've done all the planning that we need to do. This also might be a good time to kind of check out of Pinterest if you need to, if it's driving you crazy or giving you too much stress. You've planned the meat and potatoes of your event. Now it's just fine tuning the little details to make sure it's exactly what you want it to be. The only thing you might be doing is you might be booking transportation if you have not done so already. That was so much information chucked at you in a short amount of time. How are we feeling about wedding planning? Let me know down in the comments down below. How has this series been for you? Do you feel supported? Do you feel more overwhelmed? I recognize that I'm like chucking so much information at you in a short amount of time in these videos and that can feel like a lot. So if at any point in time you're like, I just can't take all this or Jamie talks too fast, first of all, there's an option to change the speed. I think it's right over here. <laughs> Slow it down. Or if you're too stressed out, don't see my face for a couple weeks, all right? Give yourself permission to take a break from wedding planning, especially if you're in these last two months and you're starting to really feel the stress of it. Give yourself some time off, okay? Let me know how you're feeling in the comments down below. I always love hearing from you guys. Congratulations again to Ariana and Noelle and Danica for being the winners of our 100,000 subscriber giveaway. I can't believe we're here. I adore y'all the pieces. Oh, and give us a follow on Instagram if you want to check out Unpopular Wedding Opinions or Q&A Mondays. A bunch of stuff is happening over there and you don't want to miss out. If you haven't done so already, like this video because you liked the video and subscribe to this channel for more tips and tricks for the modern day bride. And until next week, bye guys.